Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello. I love to read books, I love to buy books, I love to talk about books and etc. But basically this video is going to be about August and the books that I read in August. So welcome to this video, welcome to my August wrap up. Um, so August was kind of the longest month this year, like it felt like the longest month. Yeah, just so many things happened and it, like kind of like the lowest lows were the, in this month. And hopefully that's, I mean, September is already looking much better than August. And I hope it just stays that way. And that September is just, you know, kinder to all of us. And yeah, so I didn't end up reading a lot of books. Like I did read a good amount, but most of them were like graphic novels or like manga basically. So like in terms of number of books, it's like a good amount. But in terms of like how much I actually read this month, it's not that much. So yeah, I was kind of in a slump. Like I started the month kind of in a slump. I don't know why. I think the first book that I read was kind of a little slow and like it was the kind of book where I didn't want to read it at home and I just wanted to read it outside but like I didn't have a lot of time to read it outside in like cafes and stuff so it like really brought my reading pace down a lot but yeah mangas and graphic novels basically made up this entire month for me and yeah but got back into reading like you know more thick novels and stuff this at the end of this month so yeah september is looking to be a very fantasy filled month so it's exciting um yeah anyways anyways let me start off with some stats for you guys so i read 11 books in august and 3519 pages my top three moods were adventurous lighthearted, and mysterious um mostly medium paced uh, mostly fast paced books and that's because most of them were graphic novels and stuff and like most of them most of the graphic novels and stuff like i finished like in like a couple hours in one sitting so that's why yeah fast paced um all the books i read were fiction um my top three genres were fantasy young adult and manga um yeah let's see my average rating was 4.23. Again, it's pretty high because mangas and stuff, I'm very easy to please. So yeah. And this is what my August reading looked like. As you can see, a lot of ups and downs. And like, as I was saying, like in the beginning, there was a bit of a time period where I was reading. I was barely reading because I wanted to read the book outside. And I also didn't want to start another book while I was reading it. So yeah, it was, it was a time. Okay, so the first book that I read was a graphic novel. It's called Who the F Are You? It's by Huda Fami. This has been on my radar for a really long time. My sister read it, I think last year, the year before. And like, I saw it on Libby that she read it. And so I was like, I, I need to do it. I need to finally read it. And so I got it on Libby and this was like, so the f book I was telling you guys that I was reading like in the beginning of August that like really slowed my reading down. This is not that obviously. Um, I got this, I got the hold for this on Libby as like while I was reading that book. And so I like read it in one sitting like in between. Um, like I switched from that book and then ended up reading this in one sitting and then went back to that book. But yeah, this I also finished on August 10th. So like, as you can see, like the first 10 days, like I didn't read, I didn't finish a single book. So I was reading that other book for a long time uh, for me, like considering how I, how fast I read, that was a long time for me. Um, but anyways, I read Who the F Are You? I loved it. It was so funny. It was so good. I love the art style. I love, I loved the way it was set and like the narration, I guess, or like the storyline, the way it was like it progressed and yeah i just loved it it was so good i'm excited for the third book in the series um anyways so that was book one of august and 
yeah i loved it it was really good highly highly recommend um next is the book that took me a long long time to read and this was can you see yeah ministry of time by kalyan bradley um i enjoyed this this is a debut novel but i really enjoyed the voice in this and like the humor and the banter between the characters like it was really good in that way and yeah i just en i enjoyed that i think the last 50ish pages or like the way it like concluded like everything came you know all the build up like the way it like paid off was a little rushed and a little like i don't know like it wasn't fully like explored like the things that were happening and like i still had a lot of questions after it ended which kind of made it less for me so yeah that's why like it was really good for like in general like the writing and everything so i'm definitely going to be reading more books by this author but i do wish like the structure and like the plot was like more like paced better basically and just like the ending i wish it was explored more like just the way it was not the ending but like the events that happened right before the ending um yeah i wish it me it was explored more basically but yeah ministry of time yeah really enjoyed it um it's like um i don't even know like time travel and like kind of a little bit captain america vibes if that makes sense like bringing someone from the past into the modern world like 21st century or i guess 21st century but like late 21st century um yeah cuz this is set in the future but yeah anyways <laughs> it gave me a little bit of captain america vibes with the way like he had to adjust to the modern world after being you know in ice for like that many years or whatever um but yeah anyways that was book 2 of august <laughs> um book 3 this was my favorite read of august also probably one of my favorite books of the year i mean not probably definitely one of my favorite books of the year and probably one of like my top 5 books of all time maybe um anyways tj power has something to prove by jasmine kaur dio this book was insane like i i read it in one day first of all and i literally did not plan to pick it up that day like i got the hold on libby i think a day or two before and i was like okay fine i'll read it at some point and like i just finished ministry of time so i was like kind of getting in my slump you know because it took me so long to read that like i was already not feeling like i'm reading like i'll be able to read a lot this month and then i started this randomly like i had something to do that day but then the plan got like delayed by like 3 or 4 hours and so i was like okay and i was already at the place so i like found a cafe nearby and just sat there and i was like okay i have nothing else to read might as well start it and so i started it and ended up staying up till like 3 or 4 that night and like finishing it it was so good the banter was so good the rivals to lovers was so so good i loved both of them so much i loved tj i loved charlie I loved yeah just like the conversations also that they had and like yeah it was just I feel like this book was made for me like <laughs> it was so freaking good I highly highly recommend it um it's YA it has romance it has rivals to lovers which is like one of my favorite tropes and also just like the way the author executed it was just so freaking good and like almost like it made me like the way i feel when i read ann liang's books that's how i felt when reading this so if you like ann liang's books you should read this i think you will love it um but yeah anyways one of my favorite books absolutely loved the characters absolutely loved the main character and like just her 
I don't even know like her growth but also like her hesitance and like her moments of weakness too and like just showed how real it was and like so authentic and just so freaking good so freaking good yeah one of my favorite books i highly highly recommend it yeah okay fourth book was also another libby book so i read if you watched my i think july wrap up then you know that i read a spindle splintered by alex e hero which is book 1 in a mini duology or like novella duology basically um that is like a retake or like what's the word a reimagining or like and yes it is based off of fairy tales and like basically has like the multiverse and like yeah so the first book a spindle splintered if you can tell by the name is based off of like sleeping beauty and then the second book a mirror mended is what i read in august which was my fourth yeah my fourth book of august so a mirror mended this as you can tell by the name is about snow white and so yeah loved it it was so good enjoyed it a lot um yeah the writing like in the beginning for some reason put me off a little bit and like kind of dragged a little bit but then like when things started happening which obviously it's a novella so it starts happening pretty quickly so like i think after like two or three after like two or three chapters i was like in it and i was i like read it really quick um but yeah enjoyed it highly recommend um yeah fairy tale retellings kind of but also like set in the multiverse and so yeah it's a fun quick read and i highly recommend it okay anyways now on to some more physical books that i read um okay so one of my friends on bookstagram i saw like she posted about this book series and like was talking a lot about it and i was like Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to read it. And so I ended up buying Witch Hat Atelier book 1. Um yeah, it's a manga series. Um it's so fun. It's so cute and it's just so like comforting and heartwarming and just yeah, it's just a fun time. So yeah, I've been reading like one book whenever like I'm in the mood and like reading them in one sitting and like yeah getting cozy comfy vibes basically so yeah so this was book 5 and then book 6 was the second one and then book 7 was the third one and then i got the libby hold for who the f cares which is the second book in that who the f are you series by huda fami So this was also I mean I think I enjoyed this one even more than the first one just because it was about sisters and sister relationships and stuff and I love that. I love reading about uh, family relations and like sister relations and stuff. So yeah, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed also you know the road trip vibe of it like vacation and everything. That was fun. and yeah it was a good read i literally i think i read that also in one sitting so yeah it's a quick fast read highly recommend and then wait that was book what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 yeah so that was who the f cares was book 8 of august and then book 9 was the fourth volume of which had atelier series um yeah and then I didn't read any more. I have the fifth. Oh wait, where is it? I have the fifth, sixth, and seventh book of which had Atlee series, but I haven't read it yet. But September, most probably, I'm going to read all three of them. So yeah, I'm like trying to also slow down on reading which had Atlee because I know there's only thirteen or fourteen books out right now, and I'm already on fifth one. So yeah, a little scared that I I'll run out of them before like they come and then I'll have to keep waiting months and months. 
till they come up with new ones so yeah slowing down a little bit but i'll most probably end up reading these three at least in september and then like probably not get the next ones and then get them on libby probably and so then i'll have to wait for those to come in so yeah so that was book the fourth book in which had atlia series was my ninth book of august and then the last two books i read i don't have them with me because my sister borrowed it right after i finished it so and she's reading them right now but i read the stolen air and the prisoner's throne the duology um the stolen air duology by holly black this okay i haven't talked a lot about cruel prince because the entire time i was in india the books were the folk of the air series books that i have were in dubai with my sister but i love that series i literally i read that the first time in like 2021 and i read that at, on libby as an ebook and i finished all three of those books in like two days like i did not sleep i was like i must know what happens yeah so the first time i read the cruel prince series that was like 2021 didn't sleep two days you know finished all three of them and so when i found out that this stolen air was coming out in i think 2022 or 20 i think it was 2022 i reread the see i bought the series physically to have the copies with me and then i reread them and like annotated them and everything and i think i showed this in my how I, how i annotate part of my video i can't remember which video it was but i'll link it above so you can check that out um but yeah so i read the crude prince series the folk of the air series again in 2022 and loved it again so fun and like the twists and like the shocking revelations and stuff like loved it and so i wanted to read the stolen air and then i found out that it's a duology so i was like okay there's just one more book so let me just wait until prisoner's throne comes out and then i'll read them one after the other and thank god i waited because i know like with holly black's books at least these i've just realized that their books that are so fast paced that i can read them like i can binge read them in like one go or like in like one or two days and so that's what i did so i read stolen air in two days i think and like literally just like flew through it it was so fun and so good and just like you know childhood friends turned you know not enemies but like i don't know how i would describe them like hesitant partners in on a quest <laughs> and then you know to lovers but yeah and then again to like not enemies again but like thinking that the other hates them yeah anyways it's their relationship is complicated but so i read stolen air in like two days time and like just flew through it and then i read prisoner's throne in one day like literally just spent the entire day reading that book and i enjoyed both of them i think i enjoyed the first one more for sure i don't know what it was about it but yeah so the first book my favorite thing was just like tiernan and hyacinth like their relationship like i was eating it up i was there for it and like every moment that we got a glimpse of them or like even like when it started like when we got an inkling that there was something there like i was just like yep this is it this is what i need and like yeah i was eating that up and like it was so good and so fun and even like obviously i love charming fictional men in fantasy especially like garden like is i mean not charming but like he does have that charm i don't know what it was but anyways oak the most charming you know literally his power is to charm people but yeah anyways love that loved oak loved siren loved um tenen and hyacinth love the story all of that and yeah it was good and then the second but the one thing about stolen air that i was kind of 
disappointed by was that we didn't get any jude garden or like any you know thing but then i read prisoner's throne and suddenly like the first chapter of prologue we get jude garden and then like we get more of them and so yeah i ate that up again like seeing their interaction again and like honestly kind of got me in the mood to reread cruel prince again but i'm not going to not right now i have too many books to read but yeah it was good it was good i enjoyed it prisoner's throne i think was less for me just because i felt like the plot went a little back and forth and i feel like because it like the first book is from entirely from Suren's perspective and then the second book is completely from Oak's perspective so like i feel like we did get a lot into the character but because the second book had a lot of parts that I feel like would have been better understood for the readers if it was from Suren's perspective that like kind of made it a little like I felt a little lost in moments when I was like what's going on why is this happening cuz like there are moments where like even if Oak doesn't know it I feel like we should have known it and like I don't know if that makes sense like at least we shouldn't be in like also the also not knowing what's going on like i feel like i should have been able to deduce some of the things that i wasn't able to because it was entirely from oak's perspective so yeah i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i still enjoyed it it was still fun and yeah and as i was saying i think in my anticipated reads video that I need to catch up on Holly Black books because her second book in the Book of Night series is coming out. So I caught up to two more books, which was great. And now I only have where is it? Oh, it's not here. Anyways, I only have Book of Night book 1 of that series left to read and then I'll be ready for Thief of Night, which is the book 2 that's coming out in 2025. So making progress making progress also an another thing that i said in my anticipated releases video is that i wanted to catch up to rf kuang's books because catabasis is also coming out in 2025 and so i started reading the poppy war series right after finishing prisoner's throne and so i'm currently reading that so that will be in my september wrap up and hopefully i will read all three books like one after the other i'm still on the first one and really enjoying it really loving it so yeah excited for that um but yeah that is all the books that i read in august um he <laughs> yeah so here are five of the books physical books that i read in august technically i read seven books physically because stolen air and prisoner's throne but those are with my sister right now so yeah Okay, moving on to my September TBR slash hopefuls, um, books that I'm hoping to read in September, basically. So as I was saying, I'm currently reading Poppy War. I'm more than halfway through it, loving it, and will definitely finish this in September. And then hopefully, I can read the other two books in the series as well: The Dragon Republic and The Burning God. So yeah. thick books as yeah also as i was saying august was very like quantity of books was high but like the num the amount of reading was less so i think september hopefully will be less i mean hopefully it'll be good in quantity as well but like i'm pretty sure it's going to be less in quantity and then the amount i read actually will be high because i'll be reading quite thick books because i'm in a very as i have been saying i'm very much in a fantasy mood right now and so yeah anyways also as i said hoping to read book oh as i was saying um book 5 6 and 7 in the witch hat atlea series i'm going to try and read these as well in september also If you saw my bookshelf tour video then you know this but I'm also hoping to read Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong this September because her 
um, the sequel to this, the second book, Wireless Things, comes out 11th September. So I'm hoping to read this before that and then, or like, you know, in September so I can get that and read it as well. I am, I mean, since making that video, I have found out that there will be a book three in this series. So now again, I'm like not sure completely if I will read this and the second one before that, before the third book comes out, because if I do read these two this year, this month, then I have another year to wait for the third book, which is rough. So we shall see. I will most probably end up reading it just because I am in a fantasy mood, as I've been saying. And just, I know Chloe Gong's books are something that I'm gonna love and kind of need like good fantasy books right now that like I know I'm gonna love. So yeah, we shall see. I will most probably read it, but if, um, I don't know, I don't know. I will let you guys know. Anyways, another series that I'm hoping to read that I don't like, I feel like the amount I've heard people talk about it because of that and because of the hype, basically, I feel like I will love it, but I also haven't read anything by this author, so I'm not sure. But because of the craze around the series, I feel like I will love it. But yeah, Divine Rivals and Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. Um, yeah, look at that, beautiful. Um, also the fact that it has a violin, um, I think it's a violin, right? There's no bow though. Um, anyways, I feel like there's going to be something related to music. And I know they're like um, typewriters. So like books, music, two of my favorite things. Yeah. So I feel like it's going to be good. And it's a duology. So it's like not that much of a time commitment. So yeah, hoping to read those as well. And then finally... Um, I have my book club on Fable and we picked the book um, for September. We picked the book, The No Show by Beth O'Leary. I've read one book by her, which was the flat chair, flatmate, no, flat chair. Yeah. So I've read the flat chair by her and I enjoyed it a lot. I read that like a while back, I think in like either 2020 or like beginning of 2021. So it's been a while. But I've heard good things about it and this will be probably the only contemporary book that I'll be reading in September. I just, I'm not in contemporary mood and like, that's another thing. Um, so my August book for Fable, my book club, um, which was You With A View by Jessica Joyce, I still have like two or three chapters left and I just... I'm not able to make myself pick it up because I'm not in a contemporary mood at all. And just like, not in like a mood to read romance that where the stakes are not as high as they are in fantasy, I guess. So yeah, I guess, I mean, I will finish that also in September. So it'll be in my September wrap up, but not very in a contemporary mood. So we'll see how it goes with the no show but hopefully it'll be good hopefully it'll get me back into wanting to read contemporary and like wanting to read romance but we shall see but yeah that's the book for um that's the september book for my book club if you want to join the book club the link is in the description below so check that out um yeah <laughs> anyways friends <laughs> um that is all for this video um let me know what your favorite book was of august what you're hoping to read in september if you are planning on reading any of these books as well in september let me know um anyways that was all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you guys next time uh next monday 5 p.m ist as always um, with a new video.